right, to work out whether we've benefited or lost out or who's benefited and who's lost out, we need to be able to label these spaces. So you want to do one, two, the triangle there, three, four, and five. Okay, so in terms of what we've gained, um, and uh, so we've gained a lower price. So before the equilibrium was here and it's gone down to here. And when the price decreases, um, we find that the consumer surplus increases. So we've gained consumer surplus. And the consumer surplus that we've gained is one plus two plus three plus four, all of that area there, that area, is gained in consumer surplus. So that's a gain, that's consumers who weren't able to afford the product, being able to afford it, or being able to afford more of the product, so that improves material living standards. In terms of the loss, we've got, when well when the price goes down, and I said this before, um, you lose producer surplus, so one, is the producer surplus that you've lost there? That area there is producer surplus lost to domestic producers um, because they've switched from consuming that from uh, the UK producers to uh, where we're we getting it from France, French producers. Okay, the government have also lost um, the tariff revenue, so I'll put T revenue, so that is the area three and five. Now, if we want to look at the net um, gain slash loss and look at the overall situation and whether it's better or worse, we just need to cancel some of these out. So we know here, if we take one and one away, and then if we take three away, what we're, we're left with is the gain of two plus four and a loss of five, I didn't put that one out. So if five, the space of five, or the value of five is larger than two at four, then that equals a net loss. If five is smaller than two add four, oops, that equals a net gain. Now, what determines how big two and four and five are are three things really. One, we've got the gradients of the curve, so that's PD, PS. Two is the size of the tariff that we're going to put on. And three is the uh, difference in, um, I suppose, the cost of production between the two countries that are exporting their products to the UK. So they're, you know, the two countries that you're importing products from. So I'm going to put France and New Zealand. The bigger the difference in the cost of production, the, the further away these two lines.